Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. This is Eratosthenes Crater and its natural surface color. If you're here, newcomers, welcome and thanks for subscribing. And if you are here, like I'm saying, I am sure it's because you are as curious as I am. You're sick of seeing bull crap. Here's a color surface of Copernicus. You're sick of seeing bull crap. You know, click bait titles. So that is why I'm having problems and I'm, you know, going right out there and saying, I found it all. I found alien life. I've proved it all. I'm not here to prove anything. I'm here to share my findings so that if you can do anything with that finding that I found, all these findings, if you can do anything with that, you know, in your belief system, um, what you've based your entire life on you know because this changes a lot i'm finding a lot of color up there it's natural color most of you don't know how i'm doing it so obviously i'm just descending the exposure there's no trickery no filtering nothing it's very very real hey guys we're gonna get in really close and great news uh tomorrow night i'll be off for a couple of days during the week i'm not gonna pretend i'm i'm working in no time for videos Au contraire, we're going to get a lot of videos up and some new devices. I'm adjusting. Guys, do you have any idea how much just the SD cards that I'm buying? High quality, ultra high definition, high resolution, the best SD cards, megapixels, at least 24 megapixel DSLR. I will get to the 32. I will always up and um, upgrade everything I have but the 14 inch we have a lot of work that we can do with it because there is so much that we can see now here's the thing an HD telescope $1,500 Canadian dollars that I paid the community paid more so that we could get this quality look what we're seeing these are bridges structures pathways whatever you want it's not floating ejecta that's for sure and because of the HD and because of the SD card, every little bit of quality you go and get, the wire, I have, you know, diamond tip with gold uh, trim in it, that helps the image, of course, all the time. I slow things down, I zoom it in, magnify it. But before doing all of that, you really do, obviously, have to get a nice close shot of the surface. You have to be doing something right. I am a photographer, amateur photographer, for many years. I've even taken a picture of people professionally. I've been paid by people because they enjoyed my work, but I've always done it as a hobby. But then I said I could do it in space. You know, check this out. A bridge or path. I'm going to show you how long this is. Now it's already gone over a major section in the center there that everyone knows as a whole. So long what is written, you know, as information about these craters. This is longing the entire surface. It can run for over two, 3,000 miles. Why is it all connected? You're not gonna tell me the biggest volcano on Earth is gonna go entirely around the entire Earth in a straight line up and over yonder mountains without veering off or breaking up or you know becoming a puddle or making puddles along the way. Come on, it's just common sense. We're looking at a close surface and the color appears. And at this level, this is the level I am seeing the UFOs. So when you look at the white areas, now here it is. Imagine cities that have these bright mountainous objects that are all illuminated and it's illuminating everything around it, all the objects, the structures, and at the same time is causing us here from Earth to have one heck of a problem trying to get into those and clarifying them, of course, right? Because, you know, it's white, reflective. Same reflectivity as the surface are the structures. Look at the greens and look closely. Look in the center there, right here. I love how these objects appear. And again, 
look guys, we're right by the line of light and darkness. When that moon phase moves over, it exposes and magnifies and elevates all the surface structures so we could see so many details. As I'm photographing this through the years and moving along, moving along, at one point we're going to have the entire moon just like this in full color with all the hills and valleys and probably a few UFOs. What are we looking at here? X-ray. Did you see how the structures, natural or not, are all side by side by the hundreds. We were never told anything about these objects side by side. This crater is so white. Everyone knows that. Every channel that gets it is so white. But by just getting just a bit closer and having that high definition, that ultra high definition, because I format at the highest levels, and then I toned it down. I'm doing the tests. Look at the lights in the crater here. Because YouTube, obviously, it changes the quality. You should see the original videos, guys. Um, you know, it's not almost not comparable. Lights inside of a crater just left words of Cassini Crater. Not far from Plato Crater. The Apennine Mountains are not far from there either. It's, we're talking, you know, a common area on the surface of the moon. In a matter of a few hours, I'm going to go video crazy. So be watching everyone. Thanks for watching. You want to see real findings? Look at this. Guys, I can't speculate enough. What do you think this is, this straight line? It's a dark structure. I'm showing it in x-ray. It's not inversion, but yes, it's doing the same effect as inversion. I'm not hiding it. Simple, straight up, you guys know me, Mr. Inversion x-ray. Real simple. Um, zooming in, taking the exposure down, you know, these colors appear, and this is a straight line on the surface hundreds of miles long. It's a structure. They talk about one wall on the surface of the moon. This is really there. It's on the surface. It's hard on the, my morale, not having many people see them. So I show them in different ways so that people get interested in them. Many channels have research on the moon. Well, you wanna see real research? This is real research. This shadow is not a shadow because there's nothing straight on the surface that would make everything appear a straight line like that. There's nothing around it. Storms, clouds, or UFOs. This is an amazing object. Now, do you understand that these things are flying around over the color? They're shooting out lights on the surface. They're leaving trails of smoke-like pollution or whatever. Guys, it's amazing. For there to be movement like creatures and UFOs, and I'm seeing storms, these are all different types of activity, of movement on the surface that we're finding, we're discovering for the first time. If you guys believe in what I'm doing, please share my work and I so greatly appreciate it.
It's all very real. Everything I'm finding up there on the surface is, you know, being overlooked. But I'm not talking about this amazing community. We're a good bunch now looking at the findings that I'm getting with the 14 inch. You know, I have a good way of processing them. It's, it's straight up. I assure you all straight up. People that have telescopes know that there's no tampering because it can very easily be seen. And I've had... A lot of people even think I was using programs to get the UFOs going by. And guys, these programs, I imagine, would be better than the crappy UFOs I'm getting. Well, that's just the way that it is. That's how real research looks like. You know, the not seen part that I'm showing to the public. Mm -hmm.